take a look at this Nova here at Unique, especially in classics. It's a 1971 Chevrolet Nova two-door sedan or two-door post. 350 underneath the hood, automatic transmission. Actually, it appears to be a two-owner car when you follow the paperwork. This car was sold new, Muscatine, Iowa, and uh, then ended up in Texas. Will come with the original window sticker, protecto plate, owner's manual. So there is some paperwork that's going to go along with this. Not representing it as an SS. When it had restoration work done to it, somebody kind of dressed it up. Somewhat like an SS. Let's call it an SS Tribute. Check out the still pictures, uniqueclassiccars.com. Click on the link down below this video in the description. It's going to take you right there. And of course, you can call us, 507-386-1726. Nicely equipped power steering, power brakes. Color on this car was originally a classic copper, number 67 paint code. So I'd say it's still very similar to the way it would have been produced back in 1971. Riding on the rally style wheels, center caps, beauty rings. It appears the restoration work was done 2008 to 2010, kind of in that range. You could go by the dates on receipts. And there are some pictures and what have you. Now, as far as the paint, you can see the paint shows well. How do I want to ex explain this? Um, you see it's got a nice luster to it. Is it perfect by any means? No. It's one I would say it's not your trailer queen, spend $20,000 and have an absolutely, you know, immaculate paint job where you're afraid to drive it. But yet it's not like Uncle Charlie did it in the garage where it was dusty and dirty or under the old oak tree out back. So that kind of gives you an idea. It shows well. Great one for your local roll-ins, cruise-ins, local shows. Also remember we do consider trades. Financing is available. We can assist with transportation, and this vehicle may be eligible for an extended service contract. Consult with your sales associate when you call in or email. You can see it. There's a slight bit of orange peel if that picks it up. It might even be something like a good wet sanding would really help out. And again, don't get me wrong. You can see it in the videos and the pictures. It's not that it looks terrible just kind of trying to give you an honest opinion on it and again take a look at the still pictures there's oh probably close to 100 if not more still pictures of this car online at uniqueclassiccars.com and we'll start it up let you hear it run check out underneath the hood there's underside picture pictures of it online all right interior original uh, dark interior with a bench seat, so again, that's staying kind of tried and true. It appears that it has been reupholstered, upholstery and everything's in such nice shape. Take a look at the headliner in it, and the floor is not really carpeting. It's kind of it's kind of like a coating. To you Nova experts out there, could have you got a Nova stock like that? I'll have to maybe check on the window sticker, see what that says. Well, down to reach 51,937, I think it is. It's tough to confirm whether those are actual or not. Because once the vehicle's so old, the miles do not follow it on the title. So it would just say it'd be marked exempt. Let's go ahead and fire it up.
exhaust. No. All right, what do we have up here? AGI ignition. Again, power steering, power brakes. Nice, tidy looking engine. Did you know that this car qualifies for an extended warranty? It's just like the one you get at your new car dealership, except it covers your classic car instead. It covers all the major components like engine, transmission, drivetrain, and you can get coverage up to 10 years. Repairs aren't cheap. These extended warranties are a no-brainer. Contact us for a quote on this car today. Here we have a 1971 Chevrolet Nova. As you can see, it's winter in Minnesota, but the roads are dry, so we're able to go out and do some driving videos for you. This car has a really good exhaust sound, in my opinion. Starts up easy, steers very easily. It, it is a, a little bit featureless, it has no radio. Looks like it was ordered that way. Windshield wipers do work. The blower motor does work. The speedometer seems on. Fuel gauge is reading completely full. I'm not sure if that is accurate or not. But it is a smooth runner.